Another factor that affects pKa is something called the inductive effect. And the rule of thumb here is that a strong inductive withdrawing effect on the conjugate base of an acid will increase acidity. Now let me show you how to use this rule. But first let's understand what the inductive effect is. The inductive effect simply involves the addition or withdrawal of electrons through a sigma bond. Let me give you an example here. Look at the bond between the carbon and the fluorine here. That is definitely a sigma bond. Remember, since fluorine is more electronegative than carbon, then fluorine would pull the electrons in this bond away from carbon. We would call this a withdrawing inductive effect. Simply, the F is withdrawing electrons away from the carbon. And if this is done through a sigma bond, that's what we're calling the inductive effect. So let's look at an example here. Let's see which one of these acids is stronger. Well, let's have them both behave as an acid and take a good look at each one of their conjugate bases. Notice the top conjugate base has an inductive withdrawing effect. Exactly right here, the F would pull electrons away from that carbon. And what I'm going to prove to you in a second here is that that means we would also pull electrons away from the oxygen as a resulting factor. What we're noticing here is that this top conjugate base has an inductive withdrawal effect, whereas the bottom conjugate base would have no inductive withdrawal effect. There's simply no very electronegative atom like F to pull electrons away from another atom. Because of this, we're going to see that this conjugate base is therefore more stable and this conjugate base is less stable. This means that the top reaction is going to be more favored and the bottom reaction is going to be less favored. Since this is the case, the top acid would give up more H+, which makes him the stronger acid. However, let's understand this a little bit better here. Let's look at our conjugate base up close. Remember, these two bonds right here are the sigma bonds in this molecule. And let's convert them to electrons. Remember, because the F is more electronegative than the C, the F will pull the electrons in that sigma bond this way, creating an inductive effect. What that in turn causes is the electrons between the carbon and the oxygen to move this way. What this is doing is stabilizing this conjugate base. Think about why. Remember, if we can get electrons to move further apart from each other, that is lower energy and more stabilizing. Remember, electrons are negatively charged, which means they don't like to be close to each other. They'd rather be spread out apart. So that's the reasoning behind this rule here. And this is what we'll use on our next orgo exam. If we can detect a stronger withdrawing inductive effect, that would indicate a more stable base and therefore a stronger acid. However, there's a few nuances concerning this rule that I'd like you to know. For instance, the first one is make sure you know that proximity is a factor concerning the inductive effect. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say we want to compare these two acids. Which one is stronger? Well, again, we have them behave as an acid and we focus on each one's conjugate base. Notice for the top conjugate base, the F is in more proximity to the oxygen than this F over here. He is further away from the oxygen. Keep in mind the inductive effect is kind of a local effect, which means the closer the F is to the oxygen, the more stronger the inductive effect. Therefore, we would say the top conjugate base is more stable and the bottom conjugate base is less stable. That in turn makes the top acid the stronger acid. Let's look at the next nuance of this rule. This one is number is also a factor concerning the inductive effect. For instance, let's compare these two acids right here. Which one is stronger? Again, let's look at their respective conjugate bases. And notice on the top conjugate base, he has two F's connected to that carbon, whereas this conjugate base only has one F. Having more F's means you're going to have a greater inductive withdrawing effect. 
Therefore, this conjugate base is more stable on the top, and the conjugate base below is less stable. So therefore, the top acid is going to be the stronger acid. So let's look at a sample problem here. Which of the following molecules has the lower pKa? Well, again, let's take a look at their conjugate bases here. In this case, we would say the top conjugate base is more stable, and the bottom one is less stable. The reason why is that, remember, F is more electronegative than Br, and the more electronegative the atom, the stronger the withdrawing inductive effect. So therefore, we would say the top acid has a lower pKa, he is simply a stronger acid. So here, electronegativity is helping us with the inductive effect. So what have we learned here? What's it all about? One of the factors affecting pKa is the inductive effect, and we should know that a strong inductive withdrawing effect on the conjugate base of an acid will increase acidity.